fishing again. Um, I did pop down my syndicate water this morning. Um, it's full of weed. I mean I don't mind fishing weed but as it's only 10 minutes from my house I'm going to leave it now until uh, possibly September when the weed starts to die back. Um, if I was travelling a lot further to get to it, then yeah, I would have fished. But I don't want to be because I'm only ten minutes away. Don't want to be fishing there, hooking a fish, and let it ploughing through four or five weed beds just to rip its mouth open. So the syndicate water is on hold until September. Well, I'll, I'll still keep going down and putting the bait in. Um, it's got to be done. So, yeah. I'm here at my runs water. Uh, the tackle i got with me is a little bit over gunned. Um, three and a quarter rods. 16 pound main line. And 16, 16 mil bottom baits. Um, the areas I'm fishing, if you can see, right, uh, no, a bit further round. Too bloody far, man. Right. Fishing one rod just off the end of that island. It's about 18 inches deep. Um, I'm fishing one, well, I'm fishing two actually, near a bed of lilies. Again, where it's only only about two foot deep. Um, only because I ain't got me floater set up gear for here. Uh, keep getting a lot of line bites on the one just off the island. That's only to be expected because I've put a bit of bait out there. Um, like I say, it's only about 18 inches a foot deep. And I'm fishing bottom baits.
so that's it for update one I'll speak to you all later one thing I have noticed about that little concoction that I put together for Frisbee and treated me baits with was that they are now in the shelf life they've not been air dried at all I'll show you now look they've not been air dried at all Um, them baits have been in that bucket in my car since Frisbee which is five well no in actual fact I put them in the bucket on the Friday morning as I went to Frisbee so that's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday Monday, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So that's 12 days. 12 days then baits have been in that bucket and they've been in my car. And as you can see, there's not a bit of mould on them. Not a bit anywhere. So I'm going to be using that concoction again this corner I'm fishing this is really sun trap then get a breath of ruddy wind even though it's only a breeze that's out there Just boiling the kettle up for a drink. British Eagle just fit of carp. But in turn bloody nearly fit me. Alright, turn you around a bit so as you can see the rods. Can you see the rods? There's the rods. Well, I've just lost my first fish. Um, when you consider the fish in here are not very big.
Um, that fish ploughed through two reed beds and got caught up in somebody else's line that had already snapped up. So I got Rolly to nip over there with the boat. We freed my rig. We took the other line out and there's that for a bent up rig. I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. Now I get this rig dismantled, get it in the rubbish bin, and uh, carry on regardless. Right, it's getting too damn hot now. I'm going to this last, this last smoke, and then I'm going to head off home. Uh, it's nice to get out on the bank again, but there is a downside. I'm saying that there's always a downside. Um, The fact that last weekend one of the great pioneers and a great carp angler passed away. Uh, it shouldn't have done, but it hit me hard because he was one of my heroes. He inspired me to do a lot. I've got quite a few memories of him. Because on one occasion I did fish with him. On another occasion I was on the lake when he turned up. So Yeah, it hit me hard. Very hard. Right, getting this fag rolled. Because I'm sat in a bloody sun trap here. Got no drink with me. Because my head was in the shed this morning. Just wanted to get out and try and clear my head. Got the milk out of the fridge. Left that bugger on top of the fridge, didn't it? Filled my water bottle up and left that on the draining board. So I'm sat here in this bloody sweltering heat and I ain't had a fucking drink. In actual fact, what I might do I might I might make a bait in his honour and call it my H-mix Big H, no, Big R H-mix mm. Yeah, I'll think of something. Right. Time to sign off. I've got most of the gear put away. I've just got my bucket of bait there. Got my buzzer bag. Got my rod bag, got my waist sling, no, not my waist sling, my cradle and my chair, and that's it. Cradle will be the last thing we put away. So, 
So, from me to you, catch them laid back and smiling. <laughs>